And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Be a good place to go and cool off some from the heat. Drought monitor shows that we continue to be pretty dry across Texas. Worst of the drought is still over the central portion of the state, as you can see there. But here in East Texas, south of Interstate 20, we have drought conditions that exist as high as severe drought there around the uh, Toledo Bend and Sam Rayburn area up into the center vicinity. Meanwhile, burn bans continue to increase. We have 14 counties now that are under burn bans, and uh, Henderson, Smith, and Upshur have been added since we spoke to you last. Of course, just about all of Deep East Texas is included in official county burn bans, so no outdoor burning there. Satellite and radar shows again the effects of the upper level high. The center of that upper level high has slid just a bit further to the west, and that's why we're beginning to see some thunderstorms over the Texas panhandle up into Oklahoma and Arkansas. Just haven't got anything into East Texas yet. There's actually a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for parts of the Texas panhandle, the Oklahoma panhandle, and up into the eastern portions of Colorado. That will go until 11 o'clock tonight, but unfortunately it does not affect us, at least not in the way of bringing us any rainfall. High temperatures today, triple digits once again. Normally we're 95 to 96 degrees, and we've been as much as about 10 degrees above that in some places. Tyler topped out at 105, Longview and uh, Lufkin at 103 degrees. Temperatures right now are still uh, pretty close to where those highs are, as we're seeing all triple digits once again. And the heat index, when you figure in the humidity, as high as 111 in Lufkin. That's where the actual danger continues to uh, be for East Texas as that heat index continues to run high. That's why we still have the excessive heat warning and it has already been extended until 9 o'clock for Sunday evening. Forecast highs, the actual air temperatures again tomorrow expected to top 100 degrees, perhaps be as high as 104 to 105 in some parts of our East Texas area Sunday afternoon. Overnight, we're looking for a low of 83 degrees. Again, the excessive heat warning remains in effect. We don't lose all of that uh, heat during the overnight hours. Skies will remain mostly clear. We'll have a south wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. For Sunday, a high temperature of 104 heat index as high as 110 or in some places in southern parts of the area could be even higher. The excessive heat warning again extended through much of Sunday. Southwest winds at 10. Seven day forecast, very little change. Still a slight chance of a few isolated showers or thunderstorms there Monday and Tuesday. Chance of rain only 20%. Hopefully we can get the uh, edge of that high pushing a little further to the west and that would at least give us a shot at getting some rainfall. But right now just count on hot dry conditions to continue throughout the coming week. For Deep East Texas, triple digits every day again and the heat index will be topping 110 perhaps as high as 114 to 115 degrees on some afternoons. Tori?